Well, you know, the, the first book, uh, before I wrote that book, I was a businessman in, uh, in Hong Kong and Macau. I was running a trading business. Although I'm, I am an American, I still had a company there. And while I was um, running this business, I was called to close the business and go to the Himalayas and speak to some masters. And it's a long story, uh, and we can, if you want to go into more detail. But the, to make it short, I was uh, engaged in several conversations with the masters of wisdom. These are highly evolved uh, individuals who um, live above this earth in, in what we call the next dimension. And these, uh, we had this, these, uh, a period of time where I was, they, they spoke to me and gave me all the prophecies of what would happen in the next 10 years. And that is the basis of the first book that I wrote, which is the Sanctus Germanus Prophecies, Volume 1. And this was in 1999, where I was given certain events that would happen and it's in that book that we predicted the economic crisis that we're presently in 10 years ago, as well as a world war that's being ginned up right now. Uh, and thirdly, the world, the world earth changes that are. In your first book, we have predicted, where, which you already mentioned it was 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. um, you, what do you suggest for the forthcoming years? Well, the forthcoming year is that the financial crisis that we're in now, and people have to understand this, is not going to come back and be good again. It is down and it'll end probably in the next uh, uh, five to ten years. The whole system will collapse. And this is worldwide and not only Cyprus. And because it's worldwide, Cyprus is going to go with it. And then the next few years, maybe even this year, at the end of this year, maybe you, you'll see the beginnings of the Third World War uh, blowing up. You already see the United States moving their ships into the Persian Gulf. Things are getting all set up, uh, but we don't know when this thing opens up. And the third thing are the earth changes. You saw what happened in New York. This is very, very typical of what's going to happen for the next five years. You're going to have regional storms like that that are going to flood areas that have never flooded before. And uh, you see Bangkok, which has been underwater for six, six months. And then you also see Venice that's underwater now, I hear. But you're going to see this all over the world. So slowly, um, the, the, the water levels of the earth are going to, uh, are going to rise until the point where maybe within 10 years or five to 10 years, we will be under 60 meters higher of water. Well, that's the main major in, uh, environmental change that in the South Pole, you, you have a warming going on. In the North Pole, you have a warming going on. And what you have here are huge continental glaciers that are moving, breaking away and moving into the sea. Once they dump into the sea like this, you have 10 meter rise. Then you have another one that dumps in, 17 meter rise. The total number of uh, meters is going to be around 60 meters. And that means all the cities along the coastline are going to be destroyed by the, by the floods. Well, they can expect two things. The end of the crisis, I mean, the end of the, the cycle is happening like this. More turmoil, more financial <laughs> crisis, and, and, and the war, and just complete turmoil around it. It's going to get worse. But at the same time, the new cycle is beginning to start. And the new cycle is the thing that gives people the ability to be more confident in themselves, fearless, and and be able to be able to hold their own instead of depending on governments and depending on other people, they will be able to uh, gain self-awareness and self-reliance. 
uh, thing I am introducing back into the knowledge of mankind are cosmic laws. These laws don't care about religion. The, these are laws that govern the universe. And they go on whether we have 10 dozen religions or 10,000 religions, it doesn't listen. So these laws, and the main law that is involved, involved here is a law of cycles. And this is a, a major 25,000 year cycle that's coming to an end. Now, if you want to call that religion, it may be, I don't know what it is, but it's cosmic. Let's say it's cosmic and it doesn't, it doesn't take into consider what we want or what other people want. It just happens. And that's what makes the destruction of the financial system and all these other things inevitable. People should not keep thinking it's going to come back to, to normal again. We are moving on and it's ending and we have to move into a new cycle.